What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Codex aka Hackle, and today we're going to be blocking out an entire country here from our network slash computer. So if you have a Windows machine or a Linux machine and you're using that as an IDS firewall, um, anything that connects from that IDS system onto your, towards your home network will be protected. Um, but if you're just doing this on a normal Windows machine or a normal Linux machine, then you're going to have to do these settings towards each machine that is on your network, if that makes sense. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to be using this website, ip2location.com, so we can download a database. And it shows you an example format if you're a webmaster or... Or if you just want to download IP tables, again, which is what you could do with uh, Linux, really easy. But for Windows, we're going to have to go um, that extra mile to run a extra command and use a utility so we can ban IP ranges on our network. So um, which IP addresses or countries do I want to block from my network? So this is where I'm going to think to myself. Um, top cyber attack countries or what are the top countries that are known for hacking? So there are Singapore, United States, so on and so forth. Um, I'm surprised I don't see China or Russia in here, which I've already blocked out. Um, I don't do business with China or Russia. There's no reason for me to connect towards an Asia server or a Russia server. There's no, I have no business with them. So they have no business with me. I'm just going to block them out from my network. I don't use any of their services or anything like that. If you do happen to block out a country, um, but you have problems connecting towards a website or a service, this is where you need to do a little bit of digging for yourself and allowing a certain IP address or allowing the whole country um, uh, deleted from the firewall. So this is where you are going to have to do your own preferences towards your firewall, if that makes sense. Um, so we're just going to block out a country. And I already did uh, Singapore, as for an example, in a previous video. However, I want to go towards a different country, such as, let's see, Iraq. I, I have no reason to do business with Iraq. So you can download an IPv4 and IPv6. We're going to do IPv4 for an example. And um, let's download an IP table for Linux, just, just because. Um, as soon as we open that up, you can run all these commands in a shell, and then you're good because there's the IPv4 um, IP address. Then it comes with the net mask afterwards. So it's banning that entire range. So I want to download just a net mask, an IPv4 settings. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of Iraq. Uh, what we're going to do is go to file, save as. Uh, we're going to go towards our C drive, create a folder that's called IP security. And then you're just going to type in Iraq dash ipv4 and hit enter one second okay so now that we have that saved uh next thing what we need to do is open up a windows powershell and run it as admin that's important now then you need to run this command uh and paste it in that's going to say yes, yes to all. So you're going to hit A for yes to all. Then you're good. So again, everything will be in the description. Uh, I was going to create my own script, but however, someone else has already uh, created a script for me for PowerShell, which is just, you know, we're, we're going to use their script and it saved me some time from creating my own script. So I just followed their, um, followed their uh, instructions. Um, you can create a folder in the C drive. You can create a folder wherever, but um, this link will be in the description as well. And then you're going to download their little tool right here. <laughs> then um, it says go to ipdeny.com. And we could use ipdeny. The difference between ipdeny and using 
um, IP2 location is. IP Deny focuses on the bad actors that have been reported. However, that's for the people who have been reported. That's for the people who have been reported versus blocking out an entire country. So this is where you want to worry about, do you want to block out certain bad actors or do you just want to block out the entire country so you don't have to be that paranoid? For me, I blocked out the entire country, but you can go to IP Deny and uh, uh, worry about it there. So they do update their zone files. Um, this is up to date. So it is your responsibility to make sure that you update your firewall settings on a, on a daily, weekly, monthly, um, quarterly or yearly, uh, basis. So this is where you come into play and manually update every time that you use the script and update and you download, um, like Iraq again, and you give it the same file name. And then when you run an update, it will check for any changes within that text. And then we'll go ahead and update your windows firewall settings. So once you download your file, um, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and we're going to choose option two because more than likely you have a updated, uh, windows PowerShell. So it's going to be option two for you. If it's not, it's going to be option one, but, uh, we go ahead and copy this. Then we're going to make sure, uh, we want to run the Iraq, Iraq dash IP V four dot TXT and uh, make sure you're in that directory and go ahead and hit enter. And now it's creating an inbound and outbound firewall. And how do we check if it's in there? Well, when you open up your windows defender firewall with advanced security, um, let's start, uh, start over by opening that up. You know, hit windows key type in windows defender firewall. This will pop up. Then you're going to go to advanced settings. Then this will pop up on your screen. Then you're going to look for inbound and outbound and scroll down. Everything's in ABC order. There's Iraq. So it creates a rule per IP range. Well, not per IP range, but, um, I don't know why I say per IP range. So it does it in blocks with certain collective IP ranges. Um, and this is where you can see the IPv4 and the submit mask, which is doing the whole entire range. So, and same thing with the outbound rules. Right there. Um, what you can do is if you want to delete that entire um, country from the rules, all you gotta do is type in space, uh, tack delete only. Then what it's going to do is going to remove all the firewalls from the, uh, windows firewall, or you could just like select it one by one and hit the delete key. But, um, if you have a whole bunch of, uh, firewalls, then, um, it'll be there. So it should have deleted it. Oh, it created it. All right. What was the command? It was tag delete only. Uh, go ahead and run that command again. Weird. I had misspelled it. I don't know. Okay. Then it deleted. Should have. This uh, program is a little bit buggy. Did it delete it? Yeah, it did. What about for the inbound as well? It did. Okay. When, uh, just a fair warning, when you're trying to do IPv6, uh, you're going to have problems adding in a database for IPv6. Um, this is something to do with the script and with the windows firewall settings. So when I find a solution, I'll up, 
date that in towards the description. I just want to throw that out there if you want to disable IPv6s, but you can disable IPv4s. I hope that this video was informative. If it is, definitely subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, hit the post notifications. Um, if you want to support the channel, you know, donation links are in the bottom. Uh, use our sponsors such as VPNs or whatever. I'm going to be putting an ad at the end of the video. Um, Support the channel in any way you can. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. You all take care. Uh, links will be in the description once again, and I'll see you guys next time. Protect your privacy and identity. Unlock sensor filters if you're trying to get to a no-no site or you just want to be anonymous, whatever your reasonings are. You can connect to the VPN tunnels within seconds by using private internet access. Links are in the description. It's so low. Like the the it, the cost is so low. If you're not able to afford for this, then you know you're just broke as just as I am because I'm trying to get affiliates ads going on. Yeah, this is a sponsored video, by the way. Um, VPN features and look at all these great features: uh, secured VPN account, encrypted Wi-Fi, peer-to-peer -peer support, and so on and so forth. And you can connect to 33 different countries, and there's a lot of servers to go around. Plus, there's a fast download. I use this for myself as well when I try to get to those no-no sites. Yeah, okay, let's go back to the continued content and thank you for the support. Links in the description. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care and thank you once again.